so, I mean, the middle of my morning run. And it is the perfect time to think about the nature of uh, decision making. And especially in politics, I think it should be always a collective process because it is very dangerous to depend on the personality and the characteristics of one individual. However, excellent he or she may be, uh, take Vladimir Putin, for example. Putin might be a really wonderful person, and he is the leader of the Russian Federation, but it will be a mistake to you know, just let him choose whatever destination uh, he might think is appropriate for Russia or Ukraine or the world. Uh, we should really uh, you know, collect the intelligence and the, the best uh, uh, practices in the world and base our decision on that. Even if a nominally a leader uh, makes a decision, uh, he or she must uh, base his or her judgment on the correct wisdom. Uh, you know, in the wonderful concept of coherent extrapolated volition, she we uh, proposed by uh, Elsa Yudokovsky. Um, he writes that we should really, um, you know, form our edition uh, on the basis of uh, the best knowledge and best practice and uh, better, you know, best um, characteristics within us, uh, in all of us. And because otherwise, we can't actually afford to make good decisions and um, you know choose a really uh, appropriate uh, path for our future. So, you know, in the world we are living, we are all connected and we have means to gather information and opinions of tens and hundreds and sometimes thousands of people. And it is on the strength of that that we should each uh, make our choices and you know we shouldn't be isolated isolation is a really bad thing for um, decision making uh, from private lives to uh, politicians uh, we should make a decision on the basis of the collective wisdom not on the you know biased viewpoints of an isolated individual and this is especially for you mr putin with that thought, I keep my morning room.